Straight up, in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to scale up your clothing brand from $0 in revenue to $50,000 per month in four simple steps. This comes from my own experience, having done $70,000 a month for my own clothing brand. And honestly, I'm gonna share with you some very nuanced information in this video that you just can't really find anywhere else on the internet. And so I really hope that you enjoy and this helps take your clothing brand to amazing places. Here it is. Apparel Success is sponsored by my buds over at BrandCrowd. BrandCrowd's a logo maker tool. You type in the name of the logo that you wanna have made, hit enter, thousands of logos will come up. You choose the logo that you like, then you can edit and refine that logo as long as you want for free until it's perfect. I made this Hundo P design for my own clothing brand using BrandCrowd. If you're interested, head over to brandcrowd.com forward slash apparel success and you can get up to 66% off at checkout. All right, so I know that you might be sitting there thinking, I am not about to actually learn how to take my brand from zero to $50,000 a month. This this is just a YouTube video. There's no way that I could learn that just on YouTube, but I'm telling you, this is literally what you need to do in order to make this happen. This is the exact path that I followed. A lot of blood, sweat, and tears, a lot of trial and error, and a lot of failures along the way. So sharing this with you is a really big deal for me. I spent a lot of time to figure this out. Now, before we dive headfirst into the four steps to take your brand from zero to 50K a month in sales, I need to preface this by sharing with you the three mentalities you absolutely have to have in order to make this work for you. The first mentality is that this is going to take time. You don't have to do this in a month. You don't have to do this in three months or six months. It can take multiple years and that's totally cool. The second mentality is that you need to have careful planning. Actually plan this out. Don't just fly by the seat of your pants and think that you're gonna be able to get there. You have to have a really structured way of viewing this and set some pretty serious goals. And the third thing is that you need to be willing to adapt and to make changes. All right, let's dive in here. The first step to taking your brand from zero dollars in sales, you haven't made a sale yet, to $50,000 a month in sales, is you have to lock into your brand's formula. What happens is a lot of brands that start out, they don't make any sales at all because they don't have a formula to figure out what's actually working for their brand. And so the first phase here of your brand is you need to be testing and proving the concept of what works. So if what you've done already hasn't worked for you, you have to change it up. You have to make changes to your design. You have to really add more value to your brand. And I wanna give you a really clear way of thinking about this. So the way that I view this is there are sales driving activities that you can be doing and there are value driving activities that you can be doing for your brand. So there are really two sets of behaviors that you can be taking. You can be building value in your brand or you can be just trying to make sales happen for your brand. And in this first stage of your brand, you wanna be focused on these two as a 50-50 split. 50% of your time is going on sales driving activities. The other 50% of your time is going to value driving activities. Sales driving activities are things like email marketing, posting regularly on social media about your products, running ads for your brand. And value driving activities are things like landing pictures of celebrities wearing your clothing that you can post on your website, working on your website design, working on your TikTok account, working on your brand messaging. And so in that first phase, I'd say half of your time should be spent just drilling social media, drilling your marketing, trying to make sales happen, but you need to allocate a huge chunk of your time to actually building value into your brand. Like when I first started at my brand, I spent a ton of time just sending clothing out to influencers, like just sending free clothing out, hoping to get a picture of it, and getting six, 12 people that are celebrities and influencers in my space wearing my clothing brand, putting those pictures on my website was absolutely crucial in my ability to actually start getting sales to begin with. So it doesn't mean that you just need to be getting value at the beginning, you can also be trying to make sales happen but try and drive them simultaneously. So like I'm sending out free clothing to influencers. At the same time, I'm also posting on social media, trying to make sales happen. And this is really your process of building the brand itself, building value into the brand and building your first customer base to figure out what your brand's formula is. Because once you lock into your brand's formula and you start making some sales, you're really connecting with your target audience. Maybe that's a particular design that you released or it's a particular saying or maybe a particular post style that you're making on TikTok or Instagram. Once you figure that out, then you can move to step two. It's important to note before we move on to step two that step one can take a lot of time. 
Step one is by far the hardest part on your clothing brand's journey. You're trying to lock into what's working. The hardest part is getting your first 100 customers. Once you get that, it's like, oh, well, what worked? Why did those 100 customers buy? And then you can begin to repeat that. And so step two, I'd say, begins right around the $5,000 a month point When you start making around $5,000 a month for your brand just from posting on social media, your next problem becomes, well, how do I get in front of more people? How do I get more traffic to my website? And there are really two ways to scale up a clothing brand. There's either you invest your profits into advertising to get your brand out there in front of more people and to drive more traffic daily to your website, or you invest more time into your content on social media and you make posts more frequently. So you have to up the scale of what you're doing and how you're getting out there in one way or another. It's either through investing more time into creating content on social media or it's through investing money into Facebook ads. And both of these options can work for you. What I'd say is why not try both, but I suggest starting with just increasing the content creation that you're doing for your brand. Really challenge yourself to post like three times a day on TikTok for three months or six months. If before all that you were doing was one post a day, try getting up to three posts a day. If before what you're doing was three posts a day, try getting up to six posts a day. Because just up upping that volume, upping that work rate of content that you're posting will just naturally drive more traffic to your website and naturally drive more sales to you. And so just by upping that volume on the social media content that you're posting, getting better and better at the content that you're creating, that's really gonna help take your brand from like $5,000 a month to $10,000 or $20,000 a month. And then what you can do after that is while you're doing that, you can start running ads to retarget all of the attention that you're getting from your organic posts. And when you do that, then you can start investing in Facebook ads, TikTok ads, and start at a low budget and just see how things are going. Retarget the people that have already engaged with your organic content. This is really gonna help you get up to that 30, 40, $50,000 a month in sales point. As long as your brand is truly connecting with your target audience, just be cautious about your ROAS, your return on ad spend. You don't want to be trying to scale up ads for your brand that are like only bringing back $50 worth of sales when you spend $100 on ads. Make sure that you're not just frantically scaling up your Facebook and TikTok ads without looking at how much money you're spending. That's a really easy trap to fall into and it's a really easy way to fall out of your profit zone. But when it comes to getting your clothing brand up to $50,000 a month in sales, Those processes, those activities that I just shared with you is all that you have to do. It's obviously not as easy as that because keeping up with that content on social media, making sure that the content's really good, creating a brand that people are truly connecting with, mastering your brand's formula, testing, proving the concept, building value into your brand, just constantly working on all of that is actually obviously pretty hard, but you don't actually have to complicate the process too much. Like, What I'm doing inside of my clothing brand is probably very similar to what you're doing inside of your clothing brand. It's just, I'm paddling in the right boat. A lot of people are just fishing in the wrong places of the lake where there are no fish. They've created a brand that people just don't want. When you create a brand that's truly connecting with people's identity and you're fishing in the right part of the lake, these processes that I'm sharing with you that you're likely already doing will work for you. And so this is why you need to be adaptable. You need to be able to make changes in order to make this work for your brand. But just remember that the human brain wants to complicate things. It wants to make things more complex than it needs to be and you need to start thinking more simpler for your brand. That'll really help you make more sales. The third step to taking your brand to $50,000 a month in sales is that as you're getting to this point, you're gonna have to be streamlining your operations. This is where you automate and optimize your production, your inventory management, and your supply chain as much as possible because these areas will get kind of haywire and out of control if you're not actually paying attention to them and if you're not putting some focus into it. And so as you start to get $30,000, $40,000 a month in sales coming in, you're gonna have to get better at how you print the labels for your orders. You might have to hire a friend to come over and help you pack the orders to take time off your hands so that you can keep up with the content creation and keep up with the ads that you're running for your brand. And what I did is right around that point, I decided I don't want to have to figure out this operations side of my brand and have to worry about it. So I decided to partner with my friends 
third-party logistics company, 3PL, that now handles all of the inventory for my brand. They handle all of the orders for my brand. And their third-party logistics company, their shipping operation takes place literally pretty much right next door to where I get my clothing made at Astro Screen Printing in Toronto. And so figuring all of that out for your brand is really important. Now, when I'm working on my brand, I just focus on making my TikTok post, my email marketing, handling all of the front end, and they handle the complete back end of my clothing brand. And that's an option that you can run for your own clothing brand as well. And the fourth step for taking our brand from zero to $50,000 a month in sales is keeping our brand having great months consecutively. And the best way to do that is to expand your product line and to foster relationships with your current customers, your repeat customers. A healthy brand has repeat customers, people who come back over and over again. This is where offering new products, it's not just for new people finding out about your brand, but it's also for people who have already bought from you before to give them more options. People like to come back again and again to brands that they love. And so that's really the final step is email marketing, keeping in touch with people, sending them offers, sending them discounts, offering a loyalty program. These things really help foster those relationships and keep those repeat customers happy as you bring in new customers. And that's really gonna give you a really healthy business month to month with really good profit margins. But I've recorded a 100% free clothing brand course for anybody starting up a clothing brand. All you have to do to get access is go to freeclothingcourse.com and you can go through it at your own pace. There's every different aspect of growing a brand in there and you can go through it 100% free. So I hope that you take that and I hope that this video helped and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.